Yeah, so the old is the blue. blue. Okay, so it finishes and then pretty steep, right? We'll just stop it there. The new is this one. That's an insane amount of difference. If you can move this a couple inches or a few degrees, that's a lot. What would you say? Oh, shit. <laughs> he said, oh, shit. So just from doing nothing on the downswing, look at how drastic the downswing changes. Just from getting in a better position. Can move around a little bit? There you go. What? It's you. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, we'll just toss you the balls. Here you go. I'm just going to a couple of normal stock swings. Use that one. That was quite a bit over. I I felt that that was going to be one of my <laughs> one of my slices. Yeah, that was your biggest <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I felt it. Yeah. And then you said use that one. I thought, ooh, maybe I won't say anything. Use but that one. That was the biggest over the over topper. Top. Yeah, we're just going to talk about you like you're not here. Yeah. No, please. That's the problem right there. Yeah. So he can't do anything but come over it because he's moving to the right late. Yeah. And he's, so he'll start turning now, right? Off his back. There you go. Jeez. 84 when the club's coming down. It's like two and a half this way and then. Well, it go, it's Ooh. like an inch and a half. Then it goes for an inch. Then it goes another. Yeah, as soon as he starts turning off that back foot, I'll back him in a little. So what we honed in on in the, looking at his 3D gears capture is that his hip movement. So if you look at the best players in the world, they're going to move their hips slightly, inch, inch and a half to the right very early in the backswing. Then as they continue to wind in the backswing, the hips are going to recenter and get back to where they started. Mm -hmm. Jay did the first part. Except when he should have been recentering, it was even moving farther. So it got up to about two and a half inches off the ball at the top of the swing. Yeah, and, and you know, the way we go about giving a live lesson is kind of an order of importance. We start to look at things. You know, first we look at the setup, and the very next thing we look at, what's the lower body motion, especially in the back swing and into transition? Because a lot of people don't, A, they haven't heard that they're even supposed to make this little recentering move, and they've never felt anything like it. So once we can pinpoint, okay, where is that motion going off the reels? And for him, he had the first part of the back right. swing. First, we call it the first kind of third of the swing, yeah. right? The second third he was missing, which was that kind of recentering move. And when he was making this particular move, and Mike and I have seen it many times, it's basically an automatic steep downswing. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Yeah, what we, what we found just over the thousands thousands of captures of regular golfers is that if there's something weird happening or bad happening with the club, like in his case, he was steep and over, it's not a club issue. He just doesn't. He was just trying to go steep and over. It was the body forcing him to go steep and over. I mean, for practical purposes, the club's going to take the path of least resistance. So if you don't have a route to shallow the club, it's going to be steep. And in his case, this hip movement, was tilting his spine way forward, throwing the hip way out to the right, and once he started down, it was only one place the club was going to go. Yeah, if, if the center of your hips is kind of and to break it down is farther to the right. In transition that when you started most of the time you're going to be yeah. steep and over it's just yeah. you the way you've aligned your body and the joints when you pull on it the club is only going to take like you said that path of least resistance and that's over the top yep. steep so it's, it's how you're getting to the top that's kind of that perfect environment for that over the top and then so that's like you can call my divot that's why i did like huge divots yeah yeah i'm not i don't have a, like a shallow coming through, I guess. No, no. You, yeah, because you really you, can't. Just because you can't right now. I, yeah, and when I, I mean, 
do sometimes is when I feel like I'm compressing the, the ball and I'm actually hitting the ball, it's because I'm thinking of hitting down on it. Mm. But those divots are mm -hmm. like mm. puppy rays. Just hitting yeah. the ground and my elbow hurts at work. Yeah. Yeah, you see just how you just have to get rid of all those wrist angles wrist. right there. Yeah, well, yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> you have to do you don't have that. A, you don't have a choice when you do that. And anything, Sean always says, you never teach golfers to do something really that bad golfers do. Right. So any, anytime you see a movement in the opposite direction of what good players do, that's... It's a good place to start. Yeah. yeah. So at the time uh, they're going the other way, you're going opposite. Yeah. Going yeah. Away yeah. from it even further, right? Yeah. So I mean, that's something I've been trying to work on too. From what you guys talked about, I saw like you had like three quarters of an inch. You let know, me show you. you uh, then, let me overlay you. Just yeah. So you can start that. So you can see the. Uh, but I wasn't thinking about any of that right there. But you got a That's good though. Shoulder. That's what I wanted. Yeah. You got a crazy amount of turn, which is awesome. I was curious of that too. Yeah, you got the weapons in your swing. So let's overlay these two here. You know, all of those things, are, this is exactly what I'm looking for, because I don't know, because I'm constantly, do I need to turn more? Yeah. Do I need to, do I need to shift more? Am I shifting too far back, you know, on that? Yeah, it's good to know what you do well, right? So you don't mess with that. So here's... So one of the, one of the cool things that we can do with gears is we can look in our pro database and typically find, not all the time, but typically find a professional that has kind of the same rotational numbers, um, just same general style of golf swing as the AM we're working with. And we can overlap the two swings like you're seeing here on the screen. And that allows us to, or allows the golfer actually to really get a visual and see, okay, it, it, this drives the point home. When I'm, I'm moving this way, the pro's moving this way. All right, so how do I start to do more of what the pros do. Yeah, and, and you know, pictures worth a thousand words, and a video yeah. is probably worth more. I don't know what three D is worth, right? Yeah. And you can <laughs> actually words. see what's <laughs> happening. And when they when they see that, and we put them up against a pro, and and it really does a light bulb moment goes on. It's like, oh wow, I definitely see now. He's as he's finishing his backswing hip turn. He's moving towards the target, and I'm going away from the target. And it's in, you know black and white or yeah. gears, and right in front of him, the buy in happens and, yeah. and the, the player then understands okay this is my one big thing like you know i know a lot of us are trying to work on a lot of things in the swing right even me probably sometimes i work on too many things but there's usually just one major cancer in the swing mm -hmm. that you need to be working on that'll fix three or four other things and for this golfer it was this lack of recentering and how he was moving his hips in transition and when he saw the tour player again light bulb goes up it's like yeah, and, and we're not showing, like I've had lessons in the past, my own swing, where the, the pro would put up a professional player and like you need to be more like that. Like we're not trying to get this golfer to swing like this pro. We're showing him this one key element of a swing that everyone can do. He's moving his hips already laterally. Exactly. Everyone does. It's just where are you moving your hips laterally, and that's the difference. And this is a – you'll see as a lesson unfolds, this is absolutely attainable. You just have to understand the concept you're trying to do, and then you can get to work on it. One, you can see ball position right off the bat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're moving to the right. He's moving to the left. See the opposite motion? Yes. See it in the hips. So he's going, he's finishing his swing. We call it backing in. Yeah. He's finishing the back swing with backing in. Backing in. And you're, you're, you're finishing the back swing. Yeah. So you start with more <clears throat> shaft lean. Yeah. Right? Right. And an impact, the opposite, they just flipped them. I'm, yeah. So we, we get that worked out for you. Here, flip that camera and I'll show them a drill. So here's, here's the first thing I'm going to have you do. Um, you can, we'll just start with the club like this on your waist. It's okay to have a little bit to the right right here, but I want you to, when you turn it, just land back 50-50. See how I did that? So it's just a little bit of pressure on your right foot, and then as you continue to turn, you land back at 50-50. And this leg will be angled this way yeah. instead of this way. So this may be the 
single biggest thing that we see day in, day out from amateur golfers compared to the pros. It's the idea of as long as I'm rotating back, I should be moving back. And then as long as I'm rotating down, I should be moving forward. And once you can wrap your head around that I can move to the right in the backswing for a right-handed golfer and move forward back to recenter as I'm still winding close, you will give yourself the keys to a whole lot of other things you can do in your golf swing, including speed, accuracy, all those things. It's a 100% game changer. It probably, what do you think, top three major differentiators easy, between Easy top three, pros. maybe top two. And that whole idea, we've done videos on shift, turn, shift, turn, mm -hmm. that whole thing. This is how you tie it together, that middle part of the swing. You've already made your... Your shift over, right? You start to turn. As you're turning, you're shifting back toward the target, but you're still turning in the backwards direction. And we keep hammering that point home. But for a lot of you, you've never heard it before or never done it. The more you kind of hear it and visualize what we're talking about, once you add it to your swing, it really is game changer. Yeah. 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 Do it more level. Don't don't tip it so much. Just kind of. Yeah. That's the idea. Back swing. So I'm thinking about a back swing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that's the top of the swing right there. Right there. Yeah. Uh huh. That's the right idea. Come up here. Yeah, we'll get that. We'll get you feeling. Uh, just set up to the ground with your club in your hand. We're going to do a little experiment here. So get your feet wider. So you want to play a little bit wider than your hips and turn both feet out a little bit. All right, let me look at your grip. Go ahead and set up to it. All right, now let's take that up to the top. When you finish the top of the back swing, this is going to be pushed that way. You feel that? Yeah. That's what you got to get to. Hold it right there. All right, I want you to swing through, just brush the mat. Yeah. All right, let's look at this. What did you say? Oh, shit. <laughs> he said, oh, shit. So just from doing nothing on the downswing, look at how drastic the downswing changes. Just from getting in a better position so, yeah. to transition. Up through the forearm. Yeah. It'll feel like you can make a normal follow through now, too. You remember how you said... I I yeah. felt it. Yeah. I actually felt it. Your that. arms are swinging so in the right the direction. Hands, you put the hands now waist high. Mm. Like, just playable, dead. Oof. When you... <laughs> You're crazy, huh? And of course, that felt super foreign with my hip. Yeah, so that's, that's it. That's that, everything in this right. lesson is going to be getting you there. That's it. And really nothing else. And Turn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, God, that feel so... Is that, is that the right idea? I mean... Does it seem like I'm going there? It is. It is the right idea. See, there's, there's no ball there, obviously. Right. But you can see the, without trying to do anything, you're just making a downswing. Yeah. Plenty of lag, plenty of shafting. So it's all set up by your backswing. Yeah. Hmm. So it's a feeling. Yeah. Let's do it again. Let's just take it up and stop. Starting with that feeling. Get your feet wider. You want them wider so that yeah. you can kind of push back to the middle. I, you see. And I think that's, I've always gotten away from it. Yeah. Like from more of an athletic stance, because I would, uh, I felt like I wasn't swinging right. It hurt. Straighten up your knees a little bit and then bend more from your hip joints. Like, like don't set in this way. Like right. You have kind of fold over a fence and then just crack your knees. There you go. 
There you go. Like that. Yep. All right, I'll take that up to the top and stop. A little more, finish that little, yep, good, perfect. Wipe that down. All right, chip that ball there. Just easy. Nice job. That's good, bud. There it is. Wow. You can have more of a normal. Follow through. Mm -hmm. And I, I can work on that. So when when you steep your arm in motion, it won't, it won't allow you to have a normal. Chicken, yeah. yeah. Chicken wing. And the speed's got to go somewhere, and if it's in that direction, it'll just hit your elbow that I, way. I'm never even thinking about my follow through. Yeah. You know, like it's, I think of it afterwards. I'm like, God, that fell horrible. Or I was out of balance, or you know, like yeah. I'm over the ball, or whatever it is. But even this motion right here, when it goes this way, it's pulling you. Right. There you go. That's, that's the general idea right there, what yeah. you just did. It's a figure eight. Like if you thought about your hips, it's like a little figure eight. You see how yeah. you traced a line on the ground? If you can kind of Easy. get that. <laughs> yeah. Bring, your, uh, bring yourself over here to this wall. There you go. This Put good. your butt up against this wall here. So your heels, that club head width off the wall. Yeah. All right, take your stance. Your butt touching Ooh. the wall? Yeah. It shouldn't. What? So that's what you're saying? I'm yeah, so you're when you're setting up, you're going back to bend over. Right. I just want you to bend over, then crack your knees. There you go. Yeah. So you got angle now. Shins are angled more forwards. You're bending more from your ankles. Okay. Come on off the wall. Don't touch the wall. And that would. Uh, there you go. I mean, does that mean I'm, I'm, I'm too close to the ball too? Is that, that would help Well, me? yeah, a little bit. So you were kind of like in here, yeah. back and away. In close. Okay. Let me have the club. Don't worry about the club. Just get in that good posture. There you go. See so the difference in the yeah. where the where the pressure is in the feet. Just in my muscles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. It's so common with tall golfers. All right, let's come back up here and try to feel it. Same thing on the mat here. Okay. There you go. Hmm. Yeah, I was always what afraid. I was like over my toes. Give him less knee flex. Give you just a hair less. And yeah, so right here. So do this with me. Yeah. Just stand up, straight leg. Bend yeah. forward without bending back. Keep your knees straight. Yeah. Yep, as far as you can go where you feel like you're going to fall over the building. Yeah, from your hip joints, just, just flex like this. Yep. Like, like you're bowing, but don't push your butt way back when you do it. There you go. Yeah. No, crack your knees. That's there you it. There go. That's yes. all the knee yeah. flex. Wow. So you're kind of coming in yeah. under a tabletop. It's too athletic. Right? Yeah. You're right. You're trying to be too much like a baseball I, player I think or something. There's something like, yeah, that's. Yeah, it's more of a. It's, it's way less uh, short stoppy linebacker. Yep. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Now give me that little figure eight. That's it. Do that to the top. Yep, no figure eight there. So there you figure eight is a backswing. Backswing move. So what? Let's talk about the figure eight that we're having him feel. And the pelvis doesn't do a figure eight, right? No, it's please. just, I got this, um, the first time I heard this was actually from you and you heard it from who? I heard it from David Toms. So I asked him one time, I spent eight years around him. He was at the golf academy every day when he was playing on the road. And I'd get, been lucky enough to pick his brain over the years. And I think one day I was watching him hit balls and say, well, what's the, what's the one thing that, you know, was there a moment when the swing kind of clicked and, you go, you knew you were going to play some pretty good golf. Pretty he's, good. <laughs> yeah. He, he's like, actually, you know, there was. He's like, I was, I think he was at, it wasn't a mini tour event, maybe Nike tour back in the day, which is Corn Ferry now. And uh, whoever he was working with at the time said, hey, you know, I'm watching you hit balls. I want you to try to make your hips move like a figure eight. And he, he 
said, he kind of showed me, he said, I went, he goes, you wanted me to go a little to the right and then kind of back my butt in and then make the finish. And he said, I didn't even I want, he didn't want to run her up and then went on to like break a bunch of course records. And he said, that was when, that was the feeling or the swing key that he used for a long time. And it changed his whole, you know, ball striking career basically. And so I use it now because it, it, the image helps people. Yeah. And we've seen his swing a number of times on 3D and it's just that center of the pelvis just moves to the right. Back mm-hmm. to the left. It's yeah. obviously not doing this. But the the, the, the feel the, of it, yeah. the flow of it. Yeah. It's because you're, you know, if this is my hips, they move to the right, and as they're turning, they're that that's the little swoop on right. the eight, and then you finish. Mm-hmm. You're just not finishing the eight on the other side, but that motion like that, if you visualize it on the ground, it kind of makes that little eight motion. It's the back end, it's the yeah. move away, it's the whole nine yards. So mm-hmm. that that's what we're trying to get him to feel right now. Yes. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Keep coming. There we go. Yeah. And then the forward and then the round. Yeah. No, you got it. You had it. That was, that was good? It's yeah. just, so, like here, look. It's just right back and around, like, like that. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. OK, so you, you feel how it's getting to the outside? Yeah, I feel that. Outside of this forward. foot. Yeah. yeah. Wider okay, pants. And, I need to... and just feel it inside the feet. I got you. There you go. Good job. Good. Brilliant. That's good. Such a different. I right, do it again. Do that again. That's actually. Let me get the. I'm gonna do a ball. Take away a ball. Mm-hmm. Oh, with gears. Yeah. I want to be able to stack him on top of mm-hmm. one. Screen here. Which uh, the yellow is the new, the latest one? Yeah, so the old is the blue. blue. Okay, so it finishes and then pretty steep, right? So we'll just stop it there. The new is this one. That's an insane, insane amount of difference. Thing. If you can move this. A couple inches or a few degrees, that's a lot. This is like a foot of difference there. So the main thing now, see how you're finishing the backswing now? Yeah, and I'm. I'm <laughs> see how this one finishes going the other way? Stack those. Yep. Oh, yeah. So the balance is way off. Yeah. All right, so I don't know if you noticed the club numbers that were up on the screen. Uh, his before swing, the blue swing was nine degrees out to end so the over the top that's pull across move that's a ton the new swing was 13 degrees or 12.7 in the out in the out so, so the opposite way so doing the math on that that's 21 degrees 21 degree change now both of those are too extreme right right so when our goal isn't to move him to 13 degrees into out it was to completely do the opposite of what he was doing and you have a great analogy with the spring. Yeah, so when someone comes in for a lesson, and let's say they're way over the top and right. steep like this guy, I'm try- we're trying to take him as far as we can in the other direction. We're going to bend the spring the opposite way. Now, when he leaves, that spring's going to snap back a little. But the hope is he's got enough of a feel where it doesn't go all the way back to, to uh, 9 degrees right. outside in. And when you, can, when you can learn the other side of it, like, okay, you're way hitting a big slice. Now, if I can teach you to hit a big slingy hook... All right, we can always pare that down right. to something that's more playable. But it's very difficult to teach somebody to go from very steep to hitting a straight shot. You almost have to teach them, okay, very steep. Now let's hit a big slinging draw. Then you can learn how to hit a straight shot. It's, it's the way it seems to work the best. Yeah, you always want to move a slicer to, to hitting a hook or a draw. And then, and then you can back. kind of see what they like the best and how they perform the best and move them back. Uh, which... We're continuing, I mean, it's still early in the lessons, so and we're continuing to move that. I just wanted to, to show you how big of a change this hip movement can make in how you swing the club. Look at the difference where the 
in the, the, the hips the, are. The hips, yeah. Yeah. So, put the center of the hips up here. So the, ooh, the one is. Uh, you have to separate them. Yeah. 1.1 1. 1 towards at the top with the center of the hip. See this? Mm hmm. It went, it started a little away, which is good, then it recenters. Yep. And this one. Never reaches. Never recenters. See? There's, <laughs> yeah. your, there's your difference. So this guy, basically, you're forced into having to come over the to top. To come over the top, steep. Yeah. And the, the position doesn't look too bad right. in a still frame, but you know you, you put yourself in a spot where right. this is, you had to do this. Can you show the, uh, the face on one more time? Yeah. Right there at the top. Look, just look at how the difference in the stance width yeah, I, creates I, so much more stability there at the top. Yeah, that stance that width's a big deal. Let's see here. What am I and just outside the shoulders is what, is what I want. I want what I'm wanting. It's right more now. the hips. Yeah. And the shoulders. So you, you just outside the hips. Really, yeah, you, you just want angle to your legs. I want, I you want don't want them age. straight up and down. Right. Okay. The other thing, you mean, you increased your shoulder turn by almost 20 yeah. degrees. How did that? It's just because right. your position, your body. Oh, and the hips. Way. Yeah. Once I get What's that his hip. right arm there? I think it was way wider, too. Yeah, yeah once I get that. 74, so that's to a range with the right elbow. Way above for shoulder turn. 90, so he lessened it. It's good. So now, you know, the next piece is not shoving yourself too far forward. Yeah, right, I'm going, I'm definitely going When you get to the there. top right here, you're, you're done moving forward. Yep. You just, just, just kind of go. And, th and that's when I, and yes. then I start planting off that left foot. That's what allows you to get the hands in front, all those things that you see on TV. That was good what you did right there. Yeah. Maybe we'll put a little noodle next to your left hip just yeah, to we'll give you a gauge. But you that's that. it, man. We can get you out of that right. suit. Yeah, we're done with the suit. We're, we're done with the suit. Nice. That's where we're going. Wow. It's pretty good, huh? That's, it is. It's really amazing. <laughs> but it came <laughs> over. It's been years. Fig we never figured it out. That, yeah, it never figured out. Right. It never truly figured out. Yeah. So you've heard him say there at the end that he spent years trying to get this sorted out. And just in a matter of, I think it was roughly 30, 45 minutes, you're able to quickly diagnose it. And that's the key is to diagnose it quickly and then give the golfer the feel for the change. Now, he's far from perfect. Right? He was, if you saw there at the end, he was pushing himself way too far forward. So when most golfers learn that recentering move, they just blow right through it and push off the back foot. So the rest of the time we spent teaching him how to not push off the back foot and more fall onto that left foot. And the comment we made there towards the end is like, once you recenter at the top, that's really where you can feel like you're done moving forward. You're still going to go an extra few inches forward because of the momentum of the swing it's and the rotation. Up but you're done trying to push forward in the downswing. Yeah, I think from where he was, and that makes a good point, from where he was before in transition, he had to push because he's Hard already late. over there. Yeah. So now it's a, you know, oh yeah, we're giving him the recenter and he's ending up kind of 50-50 in transition, but now he's got to realize that just the, the movement of the turn will carry him the rest of the way right. forward, which every good golfer's you know, more forward at, at impact than they are at the top of the swing. Exactly right. So he fixed his steep, he fixed his hip movement, and he guys a nice into out path now, and it was uh, he was a lot of fun to work with. He had a lot of good stories, and uh, it was just a, it was a fun experience uh, being able to help another golfer learn how to move the hips properly and benefit from it. Yeah, and I think the comment he made, you mentioned it about you know he took years to mm -hmm. he's been trying to fix this for years. Well, if that's you or that that's a lot of us, you know, get with somebody who can kind of. Diagnose the swing. You know, we, we almost feel like we have an MRI for the golf swing, right? Mm -hmm. We've got gears, we've got these force plates, and we were able to do and show him in 30 minutes what he never would have figured out on his own. So if you've been struggling with something, come in and see us or mm -hmm. go, go see someone that can diagnose you in 3D and um, get it sorted out so you don't keep wasting time and go, you can go start playing some good golf. Absolutely. So 20, 21. 21 degrees of change. 21? 21, yeah, 9, 10, 21. 12, Whatever it is, it's yeah. a bunch. 9 and, tw <laughs> nine and 12 is 21. 21. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> is that times. right? Yes. All right. Ready to do that again? You're like, damn, that's a lot that can't right. be right. You see, you, yeah. All right, ready? He spent years.
Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and give it a like. Also, if you have any questions about today's video or you have an idea of a video that you want us to shoot, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. We read every single comment. We also respond to the comments. So again, leave us a comment if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to see. Now, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button. We have videos coming out every single week and we don't want you to miss one. So by clicking subscribe, that ensures you're notified right away when a new video comes out. And hey, if you wanna add instant distance to your drive, and we all do, everybody wants more distance, go ahead and click the link in the pinned comment below. You're gonna see a link. Click on it, it's gonna take you to a page. You're gonna enter your name and email address. We're gonna send you an email where you're gonna get access to instant distance, which is a video training that we put out. We know it's gonna help you. We know we're gonna see you farther down the fairway.